G'day everyone, Nick Bowdish here. Um, today I just want to have a quick chat about, and and this is this is what's going on for me, you know, how I feel about this stuff, and I'd love to have your opinions and feedback on this too, because it's actually pretty relevant to this today. But something I really struggle with is accepting that not everybody has the same opinion as me, not everybody shares the same opinion as me, not everyone values what I value. And and my default position in that case is to completely discount or render invalid somebody else's opinion. And particularly, I have a problem with um, accepting that my truth is not necessarily somebody else's truth and, and, and vice versa. I, I, I can be a really black and white sort of guy. You know, I can be, you are with me or you're against me. You know, you're on this team or you're on this team. There's no in-between. There's no wishy-washy. You can't have a foot in both camps or hedge your bets. You have to stick to something. You have to stand for something. And, I, and while I think that is true, you do have to stand for something. Well, I have to stand for something. What I do need to accept and what I really struggle with accepting is that somebody else's truth and my truth may not be the same thing, even about something, an event or a situation or an opinion or a discourse that I feel like you could not possibly disagree with me on this, right? You see this a lot in the media these days since, you know, the, the rise of fake news and not really the rise, it's always been there, but like the population of fake news and fake news websites and uh, you know, people sharing stuff about different things online that, that just don't have any factual backing and, and stuff like that. And, and the rise of a, a world leader who has not only, you know, encouraged this sort of stuff in his own followings, but also called out the fact that there is a lot of fake news around the world as well, which is, which is actually an upside or positive of this whole thing, right? Um, but I... Uh, the, the problem with that, though, the problem with it for me is that if I stop, if somebody else disagrees with me on a certain thing that I think there is an absolute truth about, and they disagree, then then I go into this mode of, no, 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 here's the facts. You, you must agree with me, otherwise you are stupid, or you are not worthy of this conversation, or you are ignorant, or you are just plain wrong or you're an idiot, or you're whatever. And this is this is the record, right, the place. Instead of saying, do you know what? This is what I think about it. This is my truth. That's your truth. Those two things don't necessarily have to match up. We don't all have to necessarily share the same truth about something. It's super hard, right? Because because I, and I have a, a social network, I guess, on here and, and offline. The majority of the people in my social network and the majority of people who consume my content on here and stuff agree with me and I agree with them on things, right? We're, we're in the same little echo chamber, the same thought bubble <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't have any kind of radical extreme from another opinion in it. And so, therefore, I just stay on this same line of I'm right, everyone else around me is right, that person's wrong. And that's not helpful at all, right? So what... What I have to do is be able to say, look, this is what I think about this. This is what you think about this. And that's okay. You know, I don't have to convince you of that my truth is correct. You don't have to try and convince me any more than you don't have to try and convince me that your truth is correct. I can talk to somebody who believes the earth is flat and I believe the earth is round. So here's my truth over here. The earth is round. We, we, our planet is in the solar system, blah, 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 blah. They believe the, that's not true, that you sail to the edge and then fall off or whatever it is. They, they, they might think about that. That is their truth. That is what they absolutely believe. And there's no more chance of me convincing them that the world is round than them convincing me that it's flat. But there's a big chance that we'll both descend into this fucking rabbit hole of argument and dissension and anger and, and misunderstanding and, and miscommunication and disconnection because we are, because I am, that fucking intent on being able to convince somebody else that I'm right and they're wrong. 
instead of just going, in this situation, I think I'm right. In this situation, you also think you're right, but we think two different things. One of us is probably not right. But it doesn't matter. I just have to accept that it doesn't matter and that somebody else's truth is their truth and mine is too. And, and I could be wrong. Jesus, I'm wrong. I was going to say daily, but I should probably make that hourly. I'm wrong a lot. So for me to be able to say, well, I'm always, that, um, my opinion on that is right, you're wrong, is pretty arrogant considering how wrong I am <laughs> and how often I am wrong. So I just want to um, maybe start a little conversation around this today because I feel like the more I try to, the more I try to obsessively change people's opinions that I think are wrong, the worse it is for me in my mental health space. Right? Instead of just going, okay, that's a great opinion, that's a great thing that you're talking about. I, I, you are obviously passionate about that. You've done your research or whatever it is. Good for you. That's what you believe. That's what you believe to be true. I don't. And there's no more emphasis or there's no more necessary. Than to, for you to convince me of that than for me to convince you. And we can just get on with it. Because there's just too much snarkiness, bullshit, anger, and disconnection on Facebook and in the world around two people disagreeing about a central truth that, you know, maybe we could just agree to disagree. Maybe we could just go, you know, you're obviously pretty keen on that. Good for you. But here's my opinion. They are not the same and they don't need to be. My happiness is not dependent on anybody else. It never was. My happiness is dependent on me. And the way I can be happier right now is to stop trying to convince people that they're wrong when they are absolutely convinced that they are right. And I just have to accept that and accept that it doesn't fucking matter. I hope you all have a great day today. I'd love to hear your opinions on this in the comments below if you, if you, if you think I'm just a bit wacky. Or, but if you think I'm just a bit wacky about this and I should actually be trying to convince people of my truth, then I'd love to hear that as an opinion. Um, or if you're in a space where you have reached this Zen-like quality where you're able to go, oh, that's an interesting opinion. That's not mine, but I'm moving on with my life. I'd love to hear that too. But uh, let me know in the comments below. And have a good Friday or Thursday night wherever you are in the world right now. See you later.